Hey guys, it's Michelle Lundy from Making It As A Middle School Teacher, back for another Tech Tip Tuesday today. And we're continuing with our PowerPoint series. Last time we talked about adding a table, that was part two, and we looked at how to um, go in and we could customize our table, make it be the size that we wanted, have the number of rows and columns. Um, so if you missed that one, you need to go back and look at that if you'd like to learn more about adding in a table. And today we're going to look at part three, adding clip art. Okay, so again, this is on that same um, slide choice. If we're on the Home tab and we go to New Slide, it's still this one here. It's the second one on my list, Title and Content. Um, and it lets you choose from several different things, including just adding text or if you want to add any of these things, tables, charts, smart, char or smart art. Um, and then whether you want to add picture, clip art, or video. So today we're going to jump down to clip art. I'll go to some of the others that are a little bit more complex um, as we move along. But a lot of us want to have cute little clip art in our, our um, PowerPoint. So we're going to look at that. So if I click on um, the Add Clip Art button, um, I don't have as big of a library of clip art on a Mac as I did um, when working with a PC. So you'll have to kind of keep that in mind. You don't have as many choices. Um, but for today, the first little picture up here is a rabbit. So that's the one that I'm going to choose. And we'll say that our student job there would have been um, maybe, you know, taking care of the class pet. And you could have even added something up here to the jobs. Maybe you, you know, would add in a subtitle of, you know, feeding the class pet or watering the class pet, whatever you would need, okay? So when I drag and drop, or if you're on a PC, if you double click to get it into your slide, the rabbit's kind of big. Um, down here, I could uh, do some cropping. Um, I could click this, okay, which tells it to fit into the placeholder, but it still doesn't really help. So if I resize this so that it fits inside the placeholder, that's typically going to be the one that works the best for getting it um, to the size you want. Now you could still stretch your box out uh, and make your rabbit get bigger and bigger and you know then work to reposition it wherever you need it to be. Okay, so that's one way to um, get some clip art into your slide. Okay, now I'm going to take the rabbit out for a second and just go back to what we had. All right, um, another choice would be um, a lot of us keep clip art on our computer, so I could choose to insert a picture instead of the clip art button, and that's actually going to open up. Um, your pictures and I've already gone through and went to my my downloads where I keep all the clip art that I have and I've opened up this particular folder from um, a set that I got from Scrap and Doodles and um, you see I have these little items I use these to make a product for taking care of your class pets and we happen to have a class turtle um, so I'm going to add him in there okay and again I can click this to resize and make it fit Okay, so that's another way to um, add in some clip art. If you have clip art stored anywhere on your computer, just click on that Add a Picture button. Okay, and I'm going to take him out and show you again where it was. This one, Add a Picture. And you can access any of your files that you want. Okay. Um, if you don't have all of your clip art files in one spot, uh, you know, and you wanted to go look somewhere else, well, then you could just click this again and uh, go back to wherever you may have other clip art hiding and, um, you know, pick what you want. If you have a particular picture you may want, um, let's see, let me look in my photos. I'll just click this one since it's the first one. Maybe someone's job is to keep my little paper sorter organized and let me know when I need to put out some different colored paper for student projects or things like that. So again, if you have them stored as photos or clip art, whatever you have, those are some different ways to access um, your uh, materials that you have stored on your computer. 
Okay? Um, so again, thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming by again today. Um, this will be up on the blog, of course, and we'll keep going with our series next week, and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks.